says, good evening, sisters. My fiance was involved in an accident that almost cost him his life last January. Now, though he survived, he went into a coma for three months and I never left his side. We had plans of getting married this month and have even bought some of the things towards our big day. Jess, since he came out of a coma, he lost his memory. Thus, doesn't recognize me nor the relationship we have. It's been five months and still no improvement. My parents and friends keep putting pressure on me to leave and start a new relationship, but I keep insisting he would come around. His family has started treating me differently, and that scares me. I've sacrificed a lot for our friendship. I desperately need your advice on how to proceed. Should I stay or should I leave? All right. Gil, would you be able to hang around if you were in this lady's situation? It's, it's a sad situation, but... You see, I always say that when it comes to relationships, you cannot build your whole life around somebody, even if you're in love with them or whatever. You can't put yourself in every picture of the person's life. Like, you know, you see yourself with them forever. I, sometimes I feel it's a scam because it's not possible. And this thing that just happened should let you know that anything can happen in life. You know, people can die, people can change their mindset, people can, yeah, whatever, anything can happen to you and that you may not feel the same way you feel about that person. I'm not saying don't be present in a relationship and enjoy the moments, but you should, ha you should have to have um, an open mind that anything can happen. So don't get too attached, but just go with the flow. So, and having said that, now you're with a guy, the guy doesn't remember you or anything. There's nothing you can do about it mm. because it's really going to start all over. And you can't tell because if it's a medical thing and he's never going to get his memory back or what, then what are you doing? Just, you know, marking time. And then now you're saying that the people around him, like his family is treating you some way. She didn't really explain what she meant by that. But obviously, maybe it's making her feeling unhappy about it. So then you don't have to be there. But I don't like the fact that she said people are saying you need to leave him and start another relationship. That's not what you should do. If you have to leave, yes, maybe leave, but not just immediately think that another relationship should just, just happen because um, you just have to be in a relationship. This would be a blow to you, of course, because you guys have gotten to a point where you're going to make things official. Mm. You have so you said you bought your staff and some of them, and you already set a, 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 a wedding date and all of that. So, of course, it would be a big disappointment to you. So you need to heal from all of that because uh, you didn't see that happening. I mean, it's scary because somebody that you've been with and then doesn't remember you or remember anything. But mm. you just have to catch your losses. Definitely have to move on because this beyond you is out of your hands. I mm. think it's a medical thing and you, you cannot, even if he comes out of it, what shows that he's going to remember you or want to even be with you? Right. Yeah. So you just have to face the reality and just to live, she has to live. Definitely. Okay. Mm. You agree? Not necessarily. Um, okay, so depending on what the doctors are saying. So, cause some people do get their memories back from comas. Um, I think that five months is a bit early to determine whether, cause some people go years mm -hmm. and then suddenly one day everything comes back or it comes back in bits. Right. For me though, it's neither here nor there whether his memory will come back or not. The decision is solely hers. Okay, in the sense that you need to decide if you can wait as long as. And in the waiting, will you then try to rebuild a new relationship? Because it could come to that. Mm. But she needs to understand that, as it is with every decision in life, it's a risk. If you do decide to leave, it's a risk you're taking that his memory could come back and his love for you will be the same, but you'd have lost the love of your life. Because obviously, if you had planned to marry this person, he is the love of your life. Mm. So that's a risk. If you do decide to stay, however, also that's a risk. Right. Because it may, never come, it may never come back. He may never remember you. He may meet somebody else and fall in love because this chapter of his life is gone. Either way, it's a risk. What I think she needs to do is to weigh the options, really. Um, <clears throat> if I were in her shoes, I'd give it a little more time. So I would give myself like a deadline. Okay, so I'm giving this a year, irrespective of. 
I'm giving this a year. If the memory doesn't come back, if his family continues to treat me in a way I'm unhappy about, I'll give it a year. And that year, I'll try and restart a new relationship with him. Right. Because he doesn't remember me as I am now mm -hmm. or, as, or as we were before. So maybe I will try and get him, I will continue to love him and try and get, get him to love me as a new person. Right. If after a year, it doesn't seem to be working, you know that, okay, you've done what you can, you cut your losses and you leave. I feel like five months is too short to determine whether to leave or to stay. Okay. So give it like a year. Yeah, give it like a, it give, at least give it a time. Like give yourself some time and say, okay, by the end of a year, this is what I'm doing. Seven months is like right. you know, give yourself some a timelines. deadline. Yes. Okay. Um, Claudia, what do you think? Um, I think she's not really taking time to work through her emotions. So she's thinking of should I leave or stay. And the question of leaving or staying is because of the pressure that people are giving her. So I'm, I'm inclined to think that if the pressure wasn't coming, should have stayed. From where I sit, that pressure that they are giving you, if you weigh it, it's like 0%. Because these people are external. These are your parents, your friends who are advising you as outsiders, thinking they know you. So this leave or stay has become an issue because of external pressure. So first off, how do you cut off that pressure? How do you silence this family and friends so that you can take time to work through your emotions and think through what you really, really, really want? And with this family treating you funny, for me, that's, that's, that's nothing you should even think about because there are issues where the man has all his memory and the family doesn't treat you well. So I feel you, you feel um, hurt because sometimes when you do things for people, you expect them to pay you back well, but they never meet your expectations. So you, you are hurt because you're probably thinking, well, your son was sick, I've taken care of him, people should treat me well. That's some form of entitlement, but they don't owe you that. So I'm also saying that the family thing, don't really pay attention to it. You yourself, what do you want out of this? And again, he losing his memory, two things. I'm going to work with a, with a scenario where the memory is never coming back. That's what I'm working with. If the memory is never coming back, what's left of him? What's his current personality? How does he think? How does he feel? How is he behaving? In his current state, not knowing you, how does he feel about you as a stranger being by his bed, telling him how you've taken care of him and wanting to build things up? how does he feel about it he being in the hospital bed and you even bombarding him with memories is i don't even think it's medically sound so step back and let nature take its own course but then you yourself you have to ask in the worst case scenario where the the, the, the memory doesn't come back how does he feel and even three months is even too early for him to start feeling something because he himself has lost a big chunk of his life and needs time to recover. So it's, it's more trickier and more complex that you are making us see it. Forget about the pressure. Forget about people talking to you and trying to advise you to do things that you think is not good for yourself. You yourself, what do you want? Do you want to wait? Let's say if the memory doesn't come back, I see it as an opportunity to reinvent the relationship, clean slates, start from the start, but does he want that? And is it even fair to be asking that question at this time, three months? He himself is trying to get himself back on track. So the question you are asking now, I feel is too early in the day. Forget about the family pressure. They have their own reasons. Family pressure is always going to be there in a relationship, even in a relationship where the man is of sound mind and sound health. Mm -hmm. So that, and your parents and your friends telling you, tell them they are giving you undue pressure. You need time to think through. But I would want you to work with the worst case scenario where the memory doesn't come back. And you try, it's like meeting a stranger in the park and the stranger trying to fall in love with you. And is that prospect there? And do you even mm. think it's fair that you, you, you demand these things from him at this point? So it's complex. But first of all, I would want you to take it slow. Go with the flow for some time. 
discount that pressure. Pressure is always going to be there. Our parents are always going to be in our business. Our friends are always going to be in our business. But what do you want for yourself? And this month, three months, also ask yourself, if I was in a coma three months and my boyfriend is in my face bombarding me, bombarding me with memory, wanting me to decide, how would I feel? So give it time, but then ask yourself, worst case scenario, if the memory doesn't come back, am I ready to reinvent myself with this man? Does this man even want to reinvent himself with me? And what's left of his personality? How he thinks, how he feels, how he behaves. Is he still the same man you met so and so years ago? And forget about the wedding, the planning, it's, it's nothing. Work through your feelings first and decide for yourself what you want in the worst case scenario that the, the, the memory doesn't come back. Are you guys ready to reinvent your life? Is he even open to working things out with you or you wants to start with someone new? Hmm. These are all questions that you have to ask yourself. Yeah, great questions there. Um, I can imagine how you feel. So I, I'm really sorry about your fiance. I do hope that he gets his memory back soon. But like my sister said, it's really important that you give it some time and just see where this goes. But you should always have a plan B as well, okay?